the stands were packed, and we really appreciate that, and it's an opener. And Alabama folks are always very supportive. We've got an excellent leadership from our captains. You see there, Willie Wyatt and Marco Battle. We took the second half option and kicked off to Memphis State. And you'll see a number here, number 55, making this first hit, Antonio London, which you'll see a lot in future years. He's a freshman from Tullahoma, Tennessee, and he got a, a nice hit. And there's a nice Willie Wyatt stick on Pryor, the great fullback from Memphis State. You remember Pryor, who gave us so much trouble a couple of years ago. We were able to bottle him up and the rest of their runners fairly well, although there were times when we got knocked off the ball. We got them stopped there, and we had a good drive. Jeff Dunn, he had a good day. Makes a completion there to Lamont Russell. 15-yard gain. Murray Hill, who continues to play extremely well for us, and Murray got a, a bump on his knee yesterday, but appears to be just fine. That's a 14-yard gain on the sprint draw. Here again on the counter sweep, Murray Hill going for the first down. I believe Murray's much stronger this year, even though he's not the biggest guy in the world. This is a situation where Jeff Dunn gets us to the right play, and Kevin Turner, our fine fullback, gets the ball into the end zone behind fairly good blocking. Not as good as it should have been, but you'll see the trap blocking here on the replay. Mike Zuga blocks back. Chris Robinette leads up in here and gets a block on number 46 there, and then Lamon Russell picks off the safety. And then Kevin just bulls his way into the end zone for the rest of it. So here early in the game, it looks like we're going to really play a great game, which is, was our intent. You only improve, and we were playing a, a, a team where we were heavily favored. You only improve in these games if you do all the basics properly. And we've got to really get better at those, and we will this next week. Philip Doyle comes on to kick the extra point, and it's seven to nothing. Look here, we let the quarterback out of containment. We don't tackle, and he's able to run out of bounds. Even though he took a loss, we didn't hit like we should have on that play. Of course, Jones is a fine player. He's from over here in Gordo. Lee Osmond on the tackle there on the option play. We played that fairly well. But that's the way you're supposed to hit people. Keep the chance on the hit forced the quick throw and the incompletion. Here's Cox, tackled by Willie Wyatt, Keith McKent. And here they even up the score on a play action. A great throw by Jones. He throws the deep ball extremely well. John Mangum hits the ball. He thought he'd broken the play up. The ball bounced down, bounced off of the receiver, Copeland, and back up in the air and into his hands. So the score is seven to seven. We're still in the first quarter. There's a 17 yard game by Murray, but we didn't do anything with the ball there. And if the state gets it back. There's Spencer Hammond, Thomas Rayham on the tackle. There's Jones off the left side. Good tackle there by Van Priest Davis. And the end of the first quarter comes up seven to seven. score seven to seven we've got the ball on our 27 yard line here on the bootleg throw was a little bit low Marco Battle made the catch nine yard gain Duran Stacy up the middle good blocking good blocking up there by Roger Schultz Trent Patterson Trent Strickland Here we are a little late getting the ball off, but uh, we found the fullback, Kevin Turner, out in the flat, and that's a seven-yard game. We're now at Memphis State's 46-yard line. Murray Hill, who had an excellent day. Big hole there. Terrell Chapman, Lamon Russell. Good blocking by Kevin Turner. This time, we don't protect the passer. Jeff's run out of the pocket. And uh, we come up short, fourth and two, and we missed the field goal. So we missed the scoring opportunity there, and that's one of the things I was talking about. Just uh, wasn't what we want. Derek Rushton, who had a, a very good day for us, makes that tackle there. Should have kept his feet a little bit better. Counter sweep now. Runs through us a little bit, but we finally get around in gang tackling, led by Charles Gardner. There's Norman. Bouncing off a few of us, and again, we're not knocking them back. 
like they would have liked to have seen. This is better. Keith McCants. He's had 15 tackles on the day, and we expect that sort of performance from him. He's got a chance to be a great player. Here's Jeff setting up on the bootleg. Lamont Russell. For a nice gain there. Here off the shotgun. Again, it looked like the protection broke down a little bit. This is third and 18. This is a, a route that we particularly like. Marco Battle back in action, coming off a hamstring, made a nice catch, and we make 28 yards in the first round. This gives us a chance to get down here and get in the end zone. Jeff's trying to get a little greedy there and looking for the deep ball. He finally dumped it off to Kevin for the first, uh, not the first down, but down close to the first down. And here we make the first down up the middle with Saran Staker. You'll see Martin Houston, in, who played his first game. He's a redshirt freshman in at fullback, and he was a little short on his block there, but it was just enough to get us in the end zone. Saran dove across the plane here on the replay. This is just a simple sweep. Lamont Russell does a good job. Kevin Turner, who's playing the wing position, knocks his man on the ground. And then Martin Houston gets just enough of this guy. Not what we want, but just enough for Saran to make a great athletic move and get it in the end zone. So with the extra point, now we go up by a score of 14 to 7. Here's Memphis State with the ball. Ball was fumbled, but uh, White, the tailback, was able to get on it. And Priest Davis and Spencer Hammond are back there with him. Here's Pryor, who's really hit. Now, this is the way we want to play. We held into 13 yards on five carries, and that's what we had to get done. We felt like we had to stop the fullback to win the game. Here again, we have a little trouble getting Jones on the ground, but we finally get a sack from Byron Holbrooks and George T. George playing as a nickelback. He's a freshman corner from down in Montgomery. He's going to be a great one. And we get the ball back. Seven-yard completion to Kevin Turner Done. off the shotgun. There was a weird little sequence there before halftime where we had some foolish penalties that are just inexcusable in the kicking game. We'll get that corrected this week. We'll be back for the second half after this. For now, in the second half, the reason you take the second half option, or one of the reasons, is so that you get the ball to begin the second half. We had problems communicating on the kickoff return. Craig Sanderson did a great job with the ball once he got it, but actually Murray Hill should have handled it. We didn't get anything done on the first drive. And again, the objective is to start the second half with the ball and drive it in the end zone. We didn't do that. So here's Memphis State with the ball. Good pressure, good tackling. The defense came out and played well. Charles Gardner on the blitz there breaks up the blitz pass. So this is our second possession. I was very disappointed in our first possession. Greg Turner, a little careless with the ball there. Got to work on our ball security. We had a fumble in the game. Here on the quarterback draw, Jeff Dunn for nine yards. And here we don't block a soul, but it is a great run by Saran Stacey. He breaks one tackle, two tackles, three, four tackles, and now he's off to the races. Reverses his field, and this is a 44-yard touchdown run. And on the replay, you'll get a chance to see just what the quality of the run was. This is a counter sweep, and you'll see that the blocking breaks down immediately. There's 91. He's shielded a little bit by the officials, but he hits Saran in the backfield. There's another tackler. There's the third, or rather the fourth, and now he's into the open field. And Memphis State is not a poor tackling football team. But there's something you see number seven down there is Jeff Dunn trying to get a block. Jeff may be one of our better blockers, although we don't encourage him to do that. But an outstanding ball carrier can make a tackle look bad simply because of the way he moves his feet and his upper body. And, of course, this is Saran's first game. We don't want to get overly excited and put the pressure on him. 
but it appears that he has that unique quality of making people miss in the open field. All right, Mr. State back to the football. Fire at the middle for three yards, and rather than letting him rip us and gut us up inside, we got folks around him, and that's one part of the game that I was very pleased with. Here Jones goes deep again. This is a name you're going to hear a lot from, Ephraim Thomas, junior college transfer from out in California. An excellent coverage play by Ephraim. Ephraim Thomas on the cover, uh, coverage again on Copeland on the sideline pass by Jones. And here's a great play by our John Mangum. John's been the three-year starter. And he got burned even though he made a good play earlier in the game, so it was nice to see him come up with the interception. Bill Smith took over our punting duties and did a fine job for us. I believe this is a 46-yarder here. Steve Plonk, our snapper, gets down the field. I'd like to have seen him keep his feet a little bit better, but he did make a fine open field tackle. Another good player for us this year is George Thornton. He and Keith McCants combined to get Jones on the ground there on the quarterback draw. That was a third and 12 situation where we were able to get the ball back. Jeff again. This time to Derek Warren, a redshirt freshman tight end who seemed to play fairly well in the game. Now we're beginning to block him a little bit better and, and, and roll. Here's Jeff on a conversion of a third and five to Lamont for the first down. Went for it on fourth down, did not block well on that play. We made the first down, but we, I was not pleased with our short yardage blocking. Fourth quarter coming up. And, and I'd like to have seen us play short yardage defense better. Of course, we get him stopped here. I'd like to have seen us play short yardage offense better. Even though we scored, we didn't really knock them off the ball. Now we're beginning to swarm them a little bit defensively. We got the ball back here. You notice big Charlie Dare, 72 out there, leading the way for Jeff Dunn on the bootleg. Charlie got in the game. It's good to see him get some action. On the quarterback draw, this is third and 12, and Jeff runs for 22 yards. And this is a dimension he gives us that really will help our offense this year. He's strong and he's fast and he's in great condition. Great block by Kevin Turner there. Excellent running by Saran Stacy. You see Prince Wembley, Chris Robinette out there. Good job by Mike Zuga on this play. And again, we're, we're moving, trying to knock it in the end zone. We missed the pass here where it looked like we had the touchdown. And we finally knock it in the end zone on fourth and one. But we took longer than I would have liked. We're not as low and dominating in our blocks as I'd like to see. We're up, we're up too high. Against Southeastern Conference competition, we're going to have to block better. Now, Martin Houston does drill his man at the goal line there, and that's what allows us to get it in the end zone. So some of the things that we had hoped to improve on this year drastically are not where we want them yet. Yeah, I think I said a minute ago the score was 28 to 7. I was wrong. It was 21 to 7 going into the fourth quarter. That score made it 28. As I said, the defense did stiffen and play better as the game progressed. Byron Holbrook's had a good day. Steve Webb made progress. He got pressure here. Another fine play by Ephraim Thomas. Jones amazed me with the accuracy of his deep passes. Here's a draw play. Kevin Turner breaks it outside, runs over the free safety, and makes four or five extra yards there. Here we don't block a soul again, and Saran Stacy breaks it back against the green, and this is just talent. This is just something Saran brought with him. We're on the sprint draw here. We don't get much action. It looks like we got a little crease up inside here, but... Uh, on the replay, you can barely see it closing in from the right there as they close this off. And so Saran goes against the green, gets outside, and then he just outruns everybody for the touchdown. Excellent speed and agility. And while we're looking at this, I might tell you that you're not going to see Saran interviewed in our player interviews because we couldn't get him away from the press. <laughs> 
next time we'll just have to go take him away. But everybody wanted to get to know him, and we felt like it'd be more important to allow the press to get to spend time with him. Some of the guys getting to play here, and that really helped. Mike Vermeil, Billy Whitehill in the game now, William Amalong. Another good play by Derek Rushton. A lot of young guys saw action here late in the late going. And our men have worked very hard, and everybody deserves a chance to get in the game. And there's Gary Hollingsworth. I think Gary would uh, like to play more. We certainly would like to have played him more. But he did get into the last two or three minutes of the game. The final score was 35 to 7.